Well, hello everybody and welcome to another Happy Travellers vlog. Yeah. We thought we'd just do an update, didn't we, on the, the cost of living. Yes. Cost of living, food, that sort of stuff. Give you a little bit of a better view on what local, is yeah. sort of a lot of local produce costs All because we found, haven't we? Mm. That the, the things that are local are cheap. Yeah. Cheap, the yeah, cheapest yeah. things, and we've known to buy all the vegetables that are um, produced in Spain and mm. anything else mm. that is Spanish because it really saves us money. Don't ever try and go with the if you try to go with the English or Europe, other countries' ways, it was so expensive. Yeah, I mean, if you try, I mean, we've oh, never, I've never seen a cabbage anywhere. No, no, I expect you can find mm. them. Mm. Uh, we've seen cauliflowers, but they are hugely expensive in comparison mm. to UK, the UK. Yeah. Um, so if you try and sort of shoehorn your English way of eating mm. into the Spanish way of life, yes. it's going to be, you can do it, mm. but it's going to be expensive, isn't it? Yep, definitely. Um, so it's much better to go don't try Espanol. And, yes, don't try and eat cheddar or English no. beers or anything because you're going to... And it's going to be very expensive, and I think we've mm. learnt a lot. I one thing I am missing though is lamb because there's hardly any lamb for sale here, and no. if you do see it, it's exorbitant. So we haven't had any. Well, I think we can. So we we'll show you what. Start yeah, to show, show what what we've got in yeah. the food mm. line. Yeah, that's all from Spain. Cheese. Yeah. Wendy was talking about cheddar, mm. which we don't buy. This thing, it's not its not cheddar, it's a big round of cheese, it's quite a big lump. Mm. It's a kilo of cheese, isn't it? Mm. One kilogram. How much was that? Six, fifteen, six euros, fifteen. Mm. Yeah. But it lasts ages. Mm. And it's very, I very mean, nice. Yep. And it, what I like about it is it, uh, it can go in salads, it can go in a sandwich, it fries up really well because mm. it has that nice stringy melt to it. Mm. So really, yeah. really good cheese, that. It's a versatile. Mm. And I mean, in, in England, cheddar's cheaper, but not in Spain, it's no. not, so. So what's next on the... Oh, the onions, of course. And, um, they're lovely, the onions. onions. Yes. The, onions two there's a load of them here. Two kilograms there. Two kilos mm. of onions. For one euro, 99 cents, yeah. Two euros, mm. effectively, I don't know 99. So one euro a kilo. Yeah. Which you know, about and that, that equates to about eighty. There's one, inch. there's one iffy onion in there. Oh. It looks a bit. Ooh, that's gone. Is it? Yeah, oh. that onion's gone. I we'll have to throw that one out. But mm. you often get that in mm. all over the place. Mm. Um, you know, you get that anywhere. These are supermarket. Where are these from? Lidl's. Lidl's. So supermarket. Oh look at those. But the best oranges. thing of all is the oranges. Yes. We haven't had oranges since we well. Not many oranges since we left Bonterra Park. Bonterra Park. Yeah. Now, we have had oranges, but that's oranges, lemons, grapefruits mm. that my brother bought over. Yeah, lovely. These are four kilos mm. of oranges. Two fifty-nine, and they're beautiful. Uh, yes. Yeah, they are. They're actually mm. actually a lot sweeter mm. than than the ones up uh, up the country a bit. Mm. It's a good time of year now for yeah. oranges because they're all being picked. Yeah. And your favourite. Oh. Look at these. Yeah. Your <laughs> oh. friend and mine. <laughs> the breffer. Um, <laughs> these are olives with uh, some little peppers in. Mm. They're a local. Olives are produced locally all over Spain. Mm. Um, and what they. They normally put them in some sort of salt water thing. Um, with. These. I think these are. These are not pimentos, they're just, um, they look like chopped up bell peppers. Mm. Yeah, um, this was uh, 2 99 was it? 2 yeah, 99 that's yeah. Right, yeah. I've written the price on each one. Mm. Um, 2 99 for all those olives, mm. those, it's quite good. Yeah. And I'm hoping these are going to be better than the other olives in chilli oil, which made me so <laughs> ill. Yes, they did. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's that. Not bad price. No. What's that? No. And the Spanish oh. carrots. You cut off. Carrot yeah. peas. Yeah. Those ones. Got a Rio. Mm. Uh, uh, they're actually carrots. Is uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Zanahoria. Mm. Zanahoria. 
um, carrots. There's a kilo in there, mm. and massively cheap, mm. 49 cents. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's like, what's that? 40, 40 p, 45 pence. That 40 pence for a is kilo, it, I think. Yeah. For a kilo of carrots. And they look all good in there. They're yeah. munchy munch. Munch munchy. Yeah. And again, freshly grown now at this time of year in Spain. Oh yeah. The celery, which is always it's always celery is always a good standby, yep. isn't it? For salads. Cook um Yeah, you can cook it, cook it, salad it, chuck it in soups, yep. put it in stir fries, yep. um put it in sandwiches yes. if you've got that cheese. Mm. That, it's really really <laughs> good and only one one little mm. plant of that yeah. one celery 75 cents mm. and i think we've got Pretty a lot good. of nice produce here because andalusia in a lot of the areas where we are near to the coast there's so many greenhouses you, you can see them all they're all white mm. all up the mountain sides and there's masses of Growing, going on. Not, what strikes not, me yeah. about Spain is the ingenious yes. way, mm. very hilly, mountainous mm. area. This area now, yeah. It's ingenious. Now they just they go they go up a hill and they scrape out terraces mm. all the way up the hill, and as you, as they go up the hill further, they just scrape another terrace out, mm. and they plant things on the terraces. And it's it's such a brilliant way to mm. use the land rather than trying to plant on a hill. Well, let's mm. flatten the hill, not yeah. not completely, but let's just scrape a terrace out, mm. and then do one above that. And it works really well. And as you're driving along the motorways, yeah, you and you're looking over, mm. and you're seeing all these like tree-lined hills going mm. up in terraces, and it it acts. It really ingenious and beautiful. Yes. I've never seen anything like it because they're all around mm. the site here. But the only thing is, that I think the government said they mustn't use that plastic, black plastic, because you know when you're going around, it's all caught up in trees and everything, and it's there's not a, nice. There's a rumor. There's a yeah. rumor. We don't know this no. for a fact, but there's a rumor. There's so much plastic yeah, it's around, all around. That's and the it all get thing. it degrades. Yeah. The atmosphere here yeah. it tends to just degrade plastic mm. just out of the blue you know it'll yeah it does it'll just go brittle brittle, is, yeah. brittle and break up mm. just you know and that's what happens to the plastic coverings on the greenhouses mm. and um we heard a rumor that the government have said right if the plastic breaks you're not allowed to put plastic back on you've got to put glass on or mm. something i you know yeah. i don't know what the real story is but I can understand why, because yeah. we see so much plastic blowing around. Anyway. Because like today, the winds are so strong, and it's no wonder that they blow off the, yeah. the roofs. Yeah. But now I think comes to the alcohol, which is about the best deal mm. you'll get anywhere. There's a, a litre. And it's 5% um, local beer. A um, litre of Argus beer. 5% proof. 5% proof. proof. And it is actually really, yes. really drinkable. It's Beautiful. really nice. And this is not unusual. No, no. There's Argus and there's other brands. Yeah. They get this from Lidl. Mm. This is <laughs> 63 cents a litre. Mm. Like, you you can't get a better deal no, than that for beer, can't. can you? No. And it, it's really nice. Mm. So yeah. yeah. Very, very cheap. Yes. We'll end on the beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Won't we? We'll end on so, the beer. Mm. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed our little... Mm. Um, yeah. Cost of living thing. Yeah. I mean, I'm finding it easier because I'm recognising the names now and I'm knowing what to buy. We were, we're just, so just before we start, better. before much we started better. this video, when yeah. he was looking down the um, the till receipt, yeah. trying to find the uh, carrots, we, wasn't it? You're trying to find the carrots. You recognise the name of carrots. We yeah. also bought some uh, courgettes, mm. which were, uh, they were quite expensive. Actually, weren't they? Yeah, I, I didn't. We bought think two courgettes yeah. for like seventy-five cents mm. or seventy-nine cents. They were quite expensive. We didn't show those. No. Because they weren't in a packet, no. and they're just loose. And mm. yeah. Anyway, um, but you recognised those as well, didn't you? You, you do looked down at this. So yeah. um, Wendy's getting pretty good at recognising the Spanish words. And d the cheapest things are yeah. things that are produced in Spain. You have to just pay a lot of money stuff. for grapes or bananas. And they're not that great. No, oh, grapes are no. horrible, weren't they? You bought oh, I bought, some. I oh. bought a bunch of grapes yeah. from a, from the 
from the best green grocer mm. at the market, mm. the one all the locals use. Mm. Um, everything else was great, but the grapes mm. were, well, blooming hell, they're horrible. Mm. The skins were all thick and chewy, yes. yeah. and the insides were mm. too mushy. Really bad. Anyway, and you know that because when you go to like to the bars and you get some free tapas, their salads they've got like lettuce and they use a lot of those multicolored tomatoes. They're very very cheap. Yeah. And yeah, the little the, tiny cucumbers you get mm. bags full of them for not much money, mm. but they always peel them. Mm. Yeah. So that's I didn't buy it that, yesterday, but I will be buying those big well, bags of cucumbers. It's talking good. about talking about yeah. cost of living. Yeah. If you go to a a bar to have uh, maybe two or three drinks. Now bear in mind, these are sort of half, they call them tubos. They're like a half pint of lager or Alhambra or whatever. A bottle of Alhambra, well, uh, yeah. yeah. That's two euros, but you get so much tapas yeah. coming out. You buy three drinks and you're getting enough tapas to feed you for the rest of the day. Yes. You know, we found that if we've had two or three or maybe four of those drinks, so that's two pints of two pints of lager, um, you've had so much tapas that you don't need to eat in the oh. evening. So, you know, you've paid um, eight, 16 euros for four beers, haven't you? Four beers each and all the food 16 you euros want, yeah. and all the food. So that's your entire um, food and drink for the day, yep. you know. I don't know that's way above our budget, but if you if you wanted to do that sort of thing, it would be a thing to do. Uh, yeah. Just really, it, it can be a really nice way to socialise as yes, well. Yes, I love you know, it. Yes, you all share. What we found is yeah. on you know here and on our travels down through Spain, we found that um, you go into a bar, you order a couple of drinks, and you get a bit of tapas and. People talk to you. It's really, really, really nice. Mm. And sometimes they'll speak in Spanish, and you'll have to use the Google Translate. Mm. Sometimes they'll want to speak to you in English because they're trying to learn mm. and improve their English, which is fine, mm. you know, because we're trying to, you know, learn a bit of Spanish as well. So it's a bit of a. Oh, I just want to trip. say to you really all good. that I've downloaded Duolingo. It's a free app, and it's so good. And every morning. It sends you a reminder to do five minutes worth. Wendy does yeah. five minutes of language lesson in every the morning. Day. Every I'm, day. I'm getting on quite well and I enjoy it. Um, so I recommend that. And it's not just our, one of our granddaughters is learning Swedish on it. So I think you it's can really now, good. Yeah. Can you now confidently say that you're a woman yeah. who drinks water? <laughs> Wendy's a woman who drinks yeah. water. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, yeah. um, we won't do that yeah. <laughs> on camera because so it might not get you, it right. You know, it's very, very good, that app. Yeah, yeah it is it's very fun. good. It's fun. It's fun. I enjoy it. it. And yes. it does help you to learn, doesn't it? Mm. It's just, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we are we are getting there. Yes, we are. With all that. Mm. So um, we've got a couple of days left here. And uh, if you watched the drone footage from yesterday, you'll have seen where we're going to spend uh, a little bit of time. So... We're going up to live in uh, the mountains just to spend a little bit of time with my brother mm -hmm. uh, up there and uh, help him out with a few bits and pieces hopefully uh, on on the on his house and you know things like that and and to catch up mm. um, we yeah. haven't seen each other for years so it's really nice yes it but, is uh, very nice so we'll be moving on from here on Saturday mm. a couple of a couple of days time paying up our bill I'm sure um, she'll let you know we, you, you mm. pay on your way out yeah. in Spain not mm. on your way in mm. in England no, you pay on your way in mm. so they get your money and if it's rubbish mm. you see they've got your money we know, we know how much it is a night yeah. it's 8 euros and 90 cents a night but on top Plus of that will be the electricity we've yeah. used and we'll, I can't remember off the top of my head how much it is a what but we'll tell you yeah, we haven't used much no and we haven't used even finished one bottle of gas, have we? No. No. So, so we, we filled up with gas before we came mm. a month ago, mm. and we've not got to the end of one bottle of gas yet. No. So, you know, pretty good. We, we've been, <laughs> you know, before we plugged into the electric, mm. uh, we were on the sunshine and we were using the induction hob through the inverter. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's been it's been really good, really cheap way to live. Again, 
you know, cost of living down here is at least, at least half as much as it would be in England, is, isn't it? Yep, it, it yeah. is. You couldn't do this, you couldn't stay you couldn't anywhere. You live this cheaply in England. In the English no. summer on a site like this. No way. With a free swimming pool and whatever, you couldn't. No. And the sea behind you, no, you couldn't no. do it, so. So there we are. But I hope you've enjoyed yes. that. Yep. If you have, yeah. thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yep. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe if you want to continue following our journey as we travel around the UK and Europe living full time in our motorhome. Yep. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye for now. Bye everyone. Thanks for watching and thanks for commenting.